In this video, I want to go over some low competition pie day niches. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon and Etsy. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now, before I share with you those low competition pie day niches, I just want to do a quick sales update for Merch by Amazon. So it is 5 p.m. on the dot at the time of this recording, sitting at 23 sales, $27 in royalties. That's going to put me at 297 sales for the month and a total of $345 in royalties. If you want to follow me on Instagram, where I post my daily sales for both Merch by Amazon and Etsy. The link is in the description. I also post like gym picks, entrepreneur picks, lifestyle picks, just like my life down here in Mexico. I'm born and raised in Mill Valley, California, but I've been living in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for the past 18 years. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the content of this of the video. And the first thing that I have to say is I actually have to apologize because I just did not know that Pi Day was only a week away I thought it was not for like another month so I should have gotten this video out to you a lot sooner so I, I apologize about that um, but as you will see here there's some designs that are going up today that are actually getting sales so I'm gonna show I'm gonna go ahead and show you these niches and they're actually pretty good so let's go ahead and take a look at the first one that I have so the first one oh and one thing that I want to say that you know when it comes to these big niches I talked about this in the St. Patrick's Day videos you know St. Patrick's Day Valentine's Day you know Pi Day um, you know uh, Easter you know these niches are big and so you're gonna have to like cross niche them triple cross niche you're gonna have to like niche down you can't just do like a regular you know uh, happy Pi Day or Pi Day is irrational you know because there's just already too many of those you know and when everyone's saying you want to zag you want to be different you know if you just do another one of those designs you're not adding any value to the marketplace okay that's, that's my little rant on that um, but so the first niche that I have for you is going to be this one right here where it is where we're taking uh, Pi Day and we're cross niching it with people that are born on Pi Day so like birthday basically and so the niche is born on Pi Day we can see that there's only 467 results when we go to the third page right here we're going to see that there's still only 467 results so pretty low in competition um, and here we can see that these are selling they have reviews um, they got good BSRs and if we go to flying research to the trending section right here seller trends we're gonna see this design born on uh, Pi day zero day old and when we actually click on it and look at it we're going to see that it was actually just uploaded according to productor uh, February 7th and I believe today is actually February 7th or the time of this recording so uploaded today already has a BSR and getting sales so that is the first Pi day niche that I have for you that is low in competition Okay guys, so something really cool actually just happened. When I had the camera turned off, I was getting ready to show you the second niche. Someone bought 27 sweatshirts, $137 in royalties. It would have been awesome if that would have happened live or when I was actually recording the video. But this niche, it's in the dental, um, was dental assistant niche. So I made a dental assistant day shirt because it's coming up. Um, and I actually made a video. It was an Etsy video talking about this niche, how this was coming up. I made it like maybe a month ago, but how cool is that? Someone just bought 27 sweatshirts, $137 in royalties. That is definitely going to help me um, get closer to my goal of doing $100 a day or $3,000 a month. So super cool. Wanted to share that with you. Kind of excited. Okay, now let's go ahead and let me show you the second niche I have for you for Pi Day. And it is Bro it's pie day so right here we're gonna see bro is pie day that's the niche only 128 results when we go to the uh, third page we're gonna see still only 128 results and when we go to flying research we're going to see that this one right here bro it's pie day it's two days old it's got a BSR we can actually look at it right here uh, this is the design bro it's pie day and it should say two days old February 29th um, so maybe a little older than that because maybe about a week old um, but so you can see this niche is um, low in competition and selling so that is the second niche to have for you now let's go ahead and take a look at the third one and then the third low competition pie niche that I have for you is all I need is coffee and pie so here we're taking the coffee niche and we're cross niche with pie day and if you saw my video a couple days ago where I talked about what makes a best-selling design you know one that needs to be cross niche but another one that you know it needs to be or it's it, it helps it if it's gonna be funny and also a play on words so here you're gonna see all I need is coffee and pie so instead of having the E at the end it's just PI like pie day so when you have these play on word designs that is going to help but this one's really low in competition only 58 results this one right here has a BSR and a review and when we go to flying research we're going to see this one is a newcomer um, and it uh, it has a BSR and it is selling sitting at 1,227,000 now let's go ahead and take a look at the next niche 
And then the fourth low competition pie day niche that I have for you is going to be chicken pot pie day. So this is another one where it's a play on words, but there's only 246 results. When we go to the third page, we're going to see that there's still only 246 results. Here are what some of the designs look like. So uh, chicken pot pie is basically a dish that you eat in the United States. I think maybe in England too. It's actually pretty good. But here you're going to see you have the chicken, then you have the pot, and then you have the pie signal. So that's why it's a play on words. Um, a lot of them are pretty similar. A lot of them also look like they're AI. You can see that they're selling, um, got BSR as reviews. But what I would do is I would probably add some text on the top or on the bottom because I'm not really seeing too many designs like that. Pretty much all of them are the same like this where you have the chicken in the pot and the pie symbol. So some examples, if I just look at my notes right here, you could do something like just a girl that loves chicken pot pie. I'm just here for the chicken pot pie or I like chicken pot pie and maybe three other people. There's probably some more examples. I'm sure there probably are some more examples, but those are just some that popped into my mind. Um, when we go to flying research, we're going to see like this one right here. It's a newcomer, zero days old, has a BSR. And I also saw this one right here as well. Uh, where did it go? This one, um, three days old, sitting at 184 BSR. And there's actually a lot of them, or not a lot, but like right here, here's another one. Um, so I saw, that was probably, could be the most popular one that I saw, but that I believe is going to be the fourth low competition Pi Day niche that I have for you. And then the next low competition pie day niche that I have for you is going to be this one right here where it is pie day menu. Only 58 results are in the third page, so I can't show you, but this is what the designs are looking like. So it's basically pie menu, and then you have all these pie signs, but it's apple pie, banana pie, cherry pie, chocolate pie, pumpkin pie. I can't read that. Blueberry, strawberry, peach pie. So you kind of get the idea right there. Now, the only problem I think with this one, I just... Me personally, I don't know if I'd be creative enough to try and figure out how to do something different. So maybe you can, maybe you're more creative than I am. Um, but we can see that, you know, it is selling. Look at the BSRs. If we go to Flying Research, this one right here, right at the top. I mean, it's the first row in Seller Trends for the word Pi Day. It's zero days old and it's sitting at a 520 BSR. So this could be another good one that's low in competition. Oh, we got a cancellation. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the next niche. And then the last low competition pie niche or pie day niche that I have for you is going to be uh, this one right here, pie day password. You see there's only 191 results and basically the phrase is my password is the last eight digits of pie, which is pretty funny. Uh, we see what some of the designs look like. It's pretty much all white. I didn't see too many colors in this, but we can see that it's selling. When we go to the third page, we're going to see that there's still only 191 results. So it is low in competition. Oh, this one has some colors right here. Um, so yeah, so those are going to be, I think it was eight, seven or eight niches I have for you. Again, my apologies for this video coming out so late. I just thought, you know, I had another like, Pi Day was like at the end of the month, but I did check Easter is at the end of the month. So that's going to be the next video. I'll try and get those niches out to you early so that you have more time to design for them and get more sales. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this kind of content, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to learn how I get sales like this on a daily basis, check out the first link in the description. I have a course on Udemy. It's only 20 bucks. Um, if you're interested, check it out. It's good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales on March by Amazon. If not, it's all good. Um, but I'm still just kind of tripped out about this big sale that I got. Hopefully they don't return it, man. That would suck. <clears throat> but anyways, um, yeah, hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you on the next one. Adios.